Hello and welcome to the backup channel for Chicken Soup for the Truth or Soul and today I'm going to be discussing the episode Real Trouble from the Flintstones and I'm sure that many people have seen this show before or grew up watching it and gratefully I don't really have any attachment to that TV show because when I found this episode I was I was pretty blown away, pretty, I was taken aback, because the, what's being implied in this episode, the plot, the subplot, what's, the setting, everything is just so, so shocking, right? At least it was for me, and I'm, I'm wanting to share this, um, I'm thankful the Holy Spirit led me to this. Um, you ever think, how did I find this? You know, I wasn't looking for this. It's just like, eh. But when I found out that they had a fictional lodge in this TV show, I was like, oh, well, let me just do a search. And um, only like two results came up. So I was really, I was really grateful. But then I went from grateful to... Oh no, like, there's no way that this was ever supposed to be for kids, right? So, yeah, and I'm going to quickly go over the plot. So, Fred films his daughter Pebbles just doing things around the house like a normal um, infant does, like their typical routine, and... It ends up being called A Day in the Life of Pebbles, Flintstone, and um, he tries showing his friends, Barney, and his wife, at first, like, they stick around, but then they realize that if they don't leave, then he's going to just keep showing them videos over and over, and it seems innocent at first, right, but then comes the Lodge introduction into the plot which is unnecessary except for them trying to tip their hat to what they they really are into right so when they get to the lodge scene when they get to the lodge part of the scene there's two there's two guys outside who are who are anticipating a like bathing suit model film because that's what they were told they would be seeing when they got there. And the Grandmaster of the Lodge inside, who you'll see wearing a different, different, I can't call it a hat, I guess really Fez hat that he has on. It's different. You'll see as soon as it comes up. And he's also looking forward to the bathing suit model. So when they start rolling the film, they're like, what is this? But here's the thing, their reactions are to try to get everyone, excuse me, off their scent that they're actually into children. So, yeah, but that's the premise of the, the clip I'm going to be showing. But before that, I'm going to show you a website where you can go find out more like references and everything from TV to video games where they put the references in and I found it so interesting that it was so easy to like look up and this was posted on the Canadian website for the Grand Lodge of British Columbia and Yukon territories or um, provinces and as you can see the show ran from 1960 to 1966 which was like during that time right before you could say like the first phase of the new world order kicked off like because the whole world turned upside down but I wanted to point out the years because you notice in between those those years there how many sixes are in that in the that time frame three and I'm just like, uh, whatever, trying not to care. But it's it's the same thing over and over. You know how they are. And 
just like the propaganda and TV this past year during the during the run of scamdemic, and now with the rush to get everyone uh, get everyone voodoo, I call it I call it the voodoo needled, voodoo the voodoo needle, voodoo jabbed or whatever, um, and and so that's just how we things are. It said it would be like this in the end times. It would be. It was like this before. There's nothing new under the sun. Um, I wanted to point out, besides this real trouble episode, I want you to notice here that they have an episode called "The Most Beautiful Baby in Bedrock." So. What? <laughs> I don't know what else that could mean, but... And the description says a lot more than I ever could imagine. I didn't know that the beauty contests were connected to the lodges. So, this kind of connects in a way. It would have been actually a more fitting title for this episode. Um, and the other episode I wanted to talk about was ladies in the lodge now that ladies part they tried to say that that's not allowed Woo. they tried to say that that's not allowed but i do think that it is allowed because there are so many hidden trans both in hollywood government sports like i found out like the owner of the WNBA is Kelly Loeffler, and if you go look up Kelly Loeffler, <laughs> yeah, no, that lets you know everything you need to know. But they are allowed in in some way, you know. They're so secretive, but that ties in so well to this episode clip here. Their secretivities. Their secretivities are. <laughs> I know that's probably not a word, but that's what they're all about. You gotta know how to keep a secret to be in the lodge. So, without further ado, I'm gonna play this clip. I'm gonna make some commentary in between. And yeah, hopefully, you're not like super duper into the Flintstones. Um, most of us have been been plucked out of the world we don't most of us don't really look at tv anymore or watch movies and that's my situation right now and i hope for it to stay that way and i hope for i hope and pray um that people who are still watching tv and movies maybe will be encouraged to look closer and maybe reevaluate that that uh, decision there so i'm gonna play the clip Okay, Dino, lights. <laughs> <laughs> That's Pebbles waving hello. Isn't she cute? Now she's waving goodbye. Now here's another shot waving hello. Here's another shot waving goodbye. Here's a real close-up waving hello. Hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Yeah, all those waves are making me seasick. <laughs> Well, you got a real clever kid there, Fred. Now I know what they mean by a captive audience. <laughs> oh, she's sucking her thumb. Naughty little girl. <laughs> yeah, first let me adjust the volume a little. Yeah, I... <laughs> this is not off to a good start. At all. <laughs> Considering what I just gave a background on. But, I mean... Obviously, you know, use your ears to hear discernment. What exactly does he mean by that? What is the real reasoning why he's filming his daughter, right? Pretty, pretty disgusting. <laughs> oh, oh, now she's going to play with her toes. <clears throat> All right, Dino, pay attention or you'll go to bed without your flea powder. That's better. Look, 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 now she's dancing. That's dancing? Uh, I mean, uh, that, that's cute. 
London boulders falling down, falling down. Well, that's real number one. Great show, Fred. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Well, that's only the beginning, Barney. There's 15 more reels to go. Well, I uh, hate to rush off, Fred, but uh, uh, we're expecting an important phone call from a... Uh, uh... Uncle Slabsides. Slabsides? I thought he passed away. Oh, oh yeah. Well, well, uh, it's a long-distance call. It's good night. <laughs> How do you like that? Eat and run. Fred, when are you going to face facts? People are sick of your films. Sick of seeing my sweet little pebbly poo? I don't believe it. I just wanted to point out the swirls in her hair. <laughs> her hair. It's a confirmed FBI pedophile symbol. So I'm sure most people already know that, but you can look it up. It's going to be a swirl in the shape of a triangle. It's going to be hearts within a heart and these are confirmed pedo symbols i would say fun fact but none of this is really fun so i'll just say fact um the creator of the simpsons matt groaning before he worked on the show the simpsons he worked for nambla magazine which is the national man boy love association and he's got cartoons cartoon strips that he used to animate you can look it up and uh, i'm sure when you look it up you'll be most fascinated by the name of this this comic strips that he used to do has something to do with a eh, heck right fire i think but um that's just a hint and and also the way i found that he was in Nambla magazine is that I was looking at an unclassified FBI document and them doing investigation into Nambla magazine in which I'm pretty sure we know they were probably just trying to monitor to make sure that they're safe and protected not so much as to ex expose them but yeah I just wanted to throw that in everybody loves pebbles Fred but not on the screen seven nights a week. You're a home movie fanatic. I am not a fanatic. Pebbles, hold it one second. Howdy, ah! girl. Now smile, smile. Fred, please. Wait till I show these pictures to the boys at the lodge meeting tomorrow night. Oh, will they be surprised? Yeah. Why would you show any footage? to anyone at the lodge whatsoever no matter what the footage was knowing that these people are under a deceptive spirit that is an antichrist spirit because they allow people to be in the lodge whether or not they accept they accept jesus christ as their lord and savior right excuse me all you have to do is believe in a god which they never said which one so knowing that they're already there deceiving them saying oh well this is a benevolent organization all you have to do is believe in higher power and then they're like bringing films there knowing that there's actual like satanists who are like in the inner circle like at the lodge most likely definitely almost certainly the grand master um it's 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 just it's just so inappropriate and this ties into what they're going to say next before he plays it for them at the lodge. You'll see in a second. Oh, movies? <laughs> That's a laugh. Wonder what old Fred's really got for us. You know, Flintstone, it's bound to be something educational, like the this Bedrock Bathing Beauty Contest. Bathing Beauties? Hey, bathing beauties i already mentioned earlier when i described the plot they would be interested in seeing bathing suit models rather than the baby um home movie and all this is to set up the fact that they're supposedly not into children and they'd rather see actual women on film which is still inappropriate and it's very sneaky that it's that they're most likely married and they're going to an all boys night watching like bathing suit models okay and um another thing 
it wasn't just that one time I pointed out the swirls in her hair. This is like a continuous thing throughout the whole uh, whole episode. Like, the whole episode, like in the trees and the design of the house, all this stuff, it's, it's, it's everywhere. So it's not like, oh, that was a one-time thing, so it's not a big deal, right? It can't be. It is, and it, they've been doing it a long time. This, this came out in 1964. Come on, let's get front row seats. <laughs> Easy, fellas, I'll be set in a second. Oh, boy, and Wilma said they wouldn't want to see horror movies. Come on, Barney, you can tell your grand poobah. What are we seeing first? A girl and a... This is the Grandmaster. And by the way, Pooba is like a real term, and that's the inspiration for the cartoon Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear, Pooh, Pooba, Bear. Like, I figured that out a while ago, and I was like, man, that's that part did hurt because I, I did used to like Pooh Bear when I was really young, but that was easy to let go. And then what was even harder to let go was Disney as a whole. Um, but anyways... So strange. He's the only one in there wearing orange, the Grandmaster dude. And you know about the orange 33 thing. And with their hats, like, it looks kind of like a fez, but it's blue. And then they're wearing horns. So they got the whole, like, everything's like, it's a whole amalgamation. Like, you got the crescent moon with the sun over it. And it's just like, these people are such a joke right here. And notice he's starting starting out calling the so-called females they were supposed to be coming to see on the screen a girl. So that lets you know they actually came to see a girl, not the females in the bathing suits after all. But they're going to play it off like, oh, we're so repulsed. We're out of here. Scram. Let's go. In a bikini? <laughs> uh, no, if you want the truth, uh, it's a girl in diapers. Oh, boy, I didn't know they posed like that. Hurry up, hurry up, start the film. Lights! Here we go. This is my little Pebbles, only seven months old. And here she is, playing with her doll. Movies of his kid. He must be joking. Oh, no, he's quite serious. And this is only the introduction. And now for our feature attraction. A full day in the life of Pebbles Flintstone. <laughs> there she is waking up, ready for a full day. Here she is sitting in her high chair. Now she's brushing her... I just wanted to point out how atrociously, disgustingly perverted can these people be. I don't really need to say anything here, hopefully. Because it's just disgusting, the picture that they've painted. But in case I do, they're implying so much more than they're actually putting out here. This toothpaste, you can figure out what that that could be represent representing. This is just so perverse. They they have the baby in a diaper, but the truth of it is that they're they're shirtless, right? And and they, and that's why they're there. And they're not gonna say anything. They're gonna play it off like, oh no, because that would ruin the whole facade of their like benevolent like organization. Just another thing, if you still, like, are in, under the impression that the Shriners Hospital is to help children, think again. I'm literally, like, getting sick here. Excuse me. Her teeth, then she combs her hair, and here she kisses her dad oops. <laughs> now, now she eats her mush. And now little Miss Flintstone is all tucked in her Betty by Nighty night, Poopsie. <laughs> well, that's it, fellas. Uh, how did you like it? Huh? <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, isn't she cute? I, I love home movies. Uh, so like what? Isn't she cute? I love home movies. Notice how they did it? So it looked like he was coming out of his sleep? Oh, some more. Uh, oh, 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 it's you, Fred. Oh, oh, the Grand Poobah asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you, Note. How thoughtful. 
Dear former lodge member, former, we'll get you for this. Sincerely, the Pooh Bar. How do you like that, ingrates? Uh, you know what they say, Fred. When it comes to home movies, keep them home where they belong. Yeah. So. That. That was the video. Uh, don't you love secret societies? I just wanted to put that out there because I've been holding back. And mm -hmm, it's possible someone doesn't know about this kind of things existing in television. These kinds of things existing in television. It's not just this episode. This is an example of just some other TV shows that have like Masonic references and things. And I think it's like so fun and cute that that they make they make detailed references of like so many TV shows. It's crazy. It's crazy like it's it goes on and on and here's the weirdest thing. They're probably not even listing all of them here. But they're bragging by listing just this many. If you look on IMDb at Gravity Falls and go to the episodes and look at the titles, you'll be you'll be taken aback because that's supposed to be on Disney Channel, right? It's supposed to be on Disney Channel. What is Disney Channel now? If it has all of those different um, Masonic implications included, that lets you know what it was from the beginning, right? So, but I'm only, I'm going to stop there. I'm just going to read this Bible verse that I thought was really fitting for um, talking about the Masons. So... It is from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 8, and verse 16. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and, behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty-five men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they worship the sun toward the east. So I thought that was really fitting because they have an obsession in the, in the Freemason Lodge with facing east. And if you'll go in your town, in the square, if you have a square where you live, they have a statue, it's facing east. So that's just a little snippet. And in their lodge, they're facing east. And they hold services in the sanctuary of the church which was what i i believe that was that was talking about it was supposed to be a temple of the lord that we're supposed to be worship worshiping the lord in, and there's people that meet in there to do other things and there are other buildings to do even worse things notice also they usually don't have any windows so and one last thing I I just believe that I believe that there will be a day of rep retribution for anyone who has hurt a child so horrible and not just a millstone around their neck but the they these are God's children I know that this is a cartoon, but these are God's children that people are messing with. And if they think that there's not going to be some serious eternal rep, there's going to be some serious eternal, like, reparations that are going to need to be fulfilled. I'm not sure if I said that right, but I, I get, I'm get i pretty sure that you understand what I'm saying. Retribution. There's just going to need to be a day of retribution. That day is coming sooner than they think. But I want to thank you for watching this, this video, and 
you know? I just hope that you weren't already, you, were, you weren't watching TV and movies anymore because there's a lot more where that came from. But stay tuned for more. And again, thank you to the Most High for inspiring me to do this. Thank you to my brothers and sisters in Christ who watch this. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. And I love you guys. Stay strong.